you talk a lot in the, in the book about the lessons of the 2008-9 financial crisis. Um, I want to think about what that kind of what we can learn from that to, to think about responding to COVID. I think it, it, my read on the book was, in a nutshell, what you think we should have learned from the 8-9 crisis was it's hard to do too much, hard to overdo it when you're trying to rescue an economy yeah. from a crisis or a recession. Um, so I guess my, my question is, is that approximately the right, uh, the right lesson to take away from that crisis? And how are we doing in terms of applying the lessons we should have learned from that crisis to coming out of the current crisis? Yeah, I mean, that is kind of the lesson of the last one. And even though this is an, ex it's a very, very different crisis. The, the causes are nothing like what happened in 2008. It's not a, it, it's not financial instruments. It's not uh, excessive private debt and leverage. It's, you know, it's a virus that hit us in the face. Um, nonetheless, there are a bunch of lessons that seem relevant. Um, and, and, the good news is, in many ways, those lessons seem to have been learned, obviously not by everybody, but by significant policymakers. So um, if we think about, uh, you know, we had, there, there was a period there in March, uh, so just under a year ago, when we were pretty close to a global financial meltdown. Things really went when, if you were actually tracking stuff going on in the markets, it was scary. It was like Lehman Brothers, only worse. But the Federal Reserve remembered. And so the Federal Reserve and its counterparts abroad, they hit it with a wall of money. And the whole episode, uh, the, the near-death experience only lasted a couple of weeks. Um, the policy response to, you know, we've had mass unemployment because of, um, of, the, of the, the virus and, and the fact that lots of things that, that we normally do aren't safe to do. Um, the policy response has been, had holes in it, obviously. We learned a lot about things that, that, that we can't do well. And we learned a lot about adversarial politics if you didn't know that already. But on the whole, relative to what I would have expected uh, we did far better everywhere, really, but uh, certainly the United States did far better in terms of actually taking care of people in need, short-circuiting what could have been a depression on top of the pandemic. Um, and now, if we look at what's happening, as we you know, as we speak, um, the, uh, the one house of the U.S. Congress has just passed a massive relief bill, and something very close to that is probably going to pass the Senate within a few days and be signed by President Biden. And that is both, both the content of it is dictated a lot by what we've learned about economics since the last crisis, but also about what we've learned about politics. I mean, in 2009, Barack Obama and his team thought that if the program proved inadequate, they would be able to come back for more. And they have learned that that's not how it works, that if they, uh, they have to hit it with overwhelming success, they might be able to come back for other things if the first phase is clearly successful, but they've learned, you know, they've learned to be appropriately cynical about the politics and also uh, to understand that the risks of underachieving economically are much greater than the risks of overdoing it. 